we're in Heathrow, so we got ours. But uh, this is outside, they didn't get theirs. Well, I think it'll take 12 to 18 months for the whole industry to get all of its capacity back to where it was before the pandemic. And that's not just uh, across the UK, it has to be across Europe as well, because uh, we are affected by staffing issues at other airports around the world. Um, and uh, so this isn't quick. Very skilled jobs have been lost, and now we're having to, as an industry, recruit people back, train them up again to be able to serve passengers. And that just takes time. Uh, it's very easy to slam the brakes on the industry, lead to enormous job losses, but it's much harder to scale it up again when you suddenly open the doors again. to be working 50, 60 hours so you're able to meet your bills and pay your rent. This is not acceptable in today, the 21st century. In, in London now, where, where the housing market is, is uniquely cursed, um, rents are going up by 200, 300 pound a month. I can tell you for free, my salary's not gone up by 200, 300 pound a month. So it's becoming a case of how do they expect us to survive? How are we expected to put food on the table, to have a shelter over our heads? It's impossible.